My beautiful friends it's amanda here and today we're talking about a new limited edition collection for mac this is in collaboration with aladdin the new live action disney movie and they have released a big old collection all of this stuff is currently available right now i have most of the collection i don't have everything mac sent me some of these pieces and then i bought others i am missing just a few pieces from this collection so I'm missing the technical liner. I'm not big on eyeliner anyway, so that's fine. I'm missing the crystal glaze. I swatched this in store and I just didn't want to invest the $24 into it because I was not really interested in using the product. It's a very thick, like sticky, multi-use type of gloss, just not my not my cup of tea. And I'm missing one of the lip glass shades. So there are three lip glasses and I have two. I'm missing the shade Jewels on Jewels. It's described as a warm pink with gold shimmer. I would probably love it, but I don't have that one. Let's start with the face compact. There are two of these really beautiful gold like powder compacts. MAC calls them both powder blushes. I would describe them as a bronzer and a highlighter, but they go on your cheeks. You can do what you want with them. Both of these powders retail for 35 US dollars. They both have special packaging. They are plastic, but they have this golden metallic look to them with this beautiful like turquoise blue print. And when you open up inside, there is the magic lamp. I kind of like this because you like rub the lamp to make a wish and you rub the powder to deposit products so i don't know i just think that's cute and clever both of these compacts do have mirrors and they both have a locking class closure this golden one that i describe as a highlighter is called always one jump ahead it is a frost finish and then we have a matte finish powder this one is your wish is my command i would describe this as a bronzer but certainly you could use it as a blush if you prefer this is the box for the powder blushes. I'll show you a quick demo of me applying both of these. These are the only color powders I'm wearing on my cheeks, this bronzer and highlighter. The bronzer is quite dark and quite warm, so I used a very, very light hand. I knew I wanted my eyes to be the center of focus for this look, so I did go very soft on the cheeks, and I do think these are buildable powders, so it's easy to wear them more sheared out. You could most definitely get a more pigmented, more payoff type of look out of them if you just were more heavy handed with the powders. These are not like the blushes from the Boom Boom Bloom collection that were just a shimmery overspray. These are true to finish. The golden shade, always one jump ahead, is frosty throughout, so this is not an overspray. No matter how much you use this powder, it will continue to be shimmery. Overall, I like both of these powders. I do think they look nice on my skin as I apply them lightly. These would be much better suited towards a tan skin tone, which I am very happy about. I would definitely be more likely to complain about these powders if they were something I felt that Princess Jasmine couldn't use. These would be perfectly suited to Jasmine. Very happy about that. Overall, I just like these powders performance wise, but I do think these are some of the standouts from a collector's point of view, especially the golden highlighter with the golden lamp in there. If you are an Aladdin fan, if you're a MAC collector, this is one of the pieces that I would most recommend from a collection standpoint, but bonus, it does perform well. Now let's talk about the lip products. I do have all four lipsticks. These are retail priced at 20 US dollars a piece. Very similar packaging style to the powders with this metallic look bullet and then the turquoise little peacock feathers down here. And it also says Aladdin and Mac inside. I'm gonna go ahead and show you lip swatches for all four shades now. First up we have Friend Like Me. This is a cool neutral beige and it's an amplified finish. Next we have Princess Incognito. This is a neutral pinky rose shade 
and this one has a matte finish. Raja is a muted red berry shade, also comes in a matte finish. And lastly, we have Whole New World. This is a bright blue pink, and it is a velvet matte. Let's go ahead and take a look at the lip glasses now. I only have two shades here. There is a third I'm missing, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video. These are retail priced at 19 US dollars a piece. These have the pink and gold detailing instead of the turquoise that we saw on the powders and the bullet lipsticks. And these do have the typical doe foot applicator that the other MAC lip glasses have. The two shades that I have are Magic Carpet Ride, which is a light pink with pink pearl, and Diamond in the Rough, which is a gold gloss with gold and pink pearls. Last but not least, we have the eye products. There is a nine pan eyeshadow palette, as well as a loose pigment. Now the pigment is retail priced at $24. This shade, Rose, does already exist within the permanent pigment line from MAC Cosmetics, and the permanent Rose shade is priced at $22. I don't own that one to compare and see if this one looks any different or if it's the exact same product just in special packaging. I am wearing this pigment on my eyes today so when I do the tutorial featuring all the eye products you will see this one in action but I did want to make you aware that Rose is a permanent color from MAC and this one is two dollars more. It does come in special packaging. Here's a close-up. So the outer packaging is the special limited edition Aladdin packaging. However, the pigment itself, the functionality doesn't have any difference in packaging, so it's the exact same little pot that the, all of their pigments come in with the stopper and everything. It's just the color of the lid is different. It's gold instead of black, and of course there is the Aladdin elements. Last but certainly not least, we have the Nine Pan Eyeshadow Palette called Princess Jasmine. This palette is priced at $35. It does have special packaging, of course. Both inside and outside, we see the limited edition Aladdin packaging. This palette comes with nine small eyeshadows and the lid is a magnetic closure. There are only three matte shades in here. There are six shimmers, one of which is a duochrome shade. I do want to point out that two of the shades in here are re-promotes from MAC. This shade, Creative Copper, has been featured in a bunch of other palettes that they've released. The Warm Eyeshadow 15 Pan Palette, the Amber 9 Pan Palette. Pretty sure it was in the Aaliyah palette. So we've seen this shade come out a lot. It's not one that you can buy individually from MAC, but it has been recirculated in a bunch of their palettes. And the deep matte shade, this like plummy, dark, purpley, brownish shade called Shady Lady is part of their permanent line. You can buy this anytime as a single from MAC. So those two are the only re-promoted shades. Just wanted to make you aware of that. Let's first look at some swatches of the eyeshadow palette. I'm just gonna show you some quick finger and brush swatches on the inside of my arm here, just like I do for all my palette swatches. Of course, you know the drill for my swatches. I don't use any primer first. The finger swatches will be on top. Then each brush swatch will be below. I always use my e.l.f. flat eyeshadow brush for my brush swatches, and I clean off the brush in between each shade using my Veramona color switch so that there's no shade transfer between swatches. Here are all nine shades from the Princess Jasmine palette. Just a reminder that the swatches on top are finger swatches and on bottom are brush swatches. I'm actually really impressed with the quality here. I feel like in the past few years, MAC has really stepped up their nine pans and these are just smooth and very beautiful to work with. 
Now that you've seen all the swatches of the palette, let's jump into a quick eyeshadow tutorial where I will use the Princess Jasmine palette as well as the Rose pigment on my eyes today, and then I'll wrap up all my thoughts on this entire collection at the end. Starting off just like I always do by priming my eyes with my MAC Paint Pot in the shade Painterly to cancel out any veins or redness. Then I just put a light dusting of No Ordinary Lamp. This is a pale pink matte all over my lid to get started. Then I'm going in with Riff Raff. This is a perfect transition shade for this palette. It just goes beautifully into that crease area. It works well with all the shades in this palette. And I also like to use my transition shade along my lower lash line. I find this gives a lot of balance to my look. So that's what I did here. Next, I'm gonna use the shade Abu to deepen up the outer part of my eye. Just add a little bit of depth and dimension to this look with this deep frosty purple. And for my inner corner, I'm using the shade Rags to Riches. This is a really, really pretty inner corner highlight shade. If I had applied it with my finger, it would be even more intense, but I am gonna go in with this pigment now. I really want that to be the star of the show for this eye look. So I just wet a flat brush with some Fix Plus and dipped into that pigment. And then you can see here, I'm sort of doing a combination of tapping the pigment on and then wiping it to kind of smooth it over the lid so that I get a nice full coverage, but I also get a really smooth metallic finish. Then I just curled my lashes, added some of my L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara, and that is the finished look. This is very simple. It is really pretty. This is the kind of look that I quite like to wear. I was sort of wishing for a little bit more brightness, a little bit more vibrancy from this rose pigment, but at the end of the day, I do think this look turned out really pretty. There are definitely some things that I really, really love about this collection and things that I feel like they kind of missed the mark on. First of all, I'm really glad that they made the face powders a little bit deeper. Now with a light hand, I think they still look good on me, but I do think these would be best suited towards like a medium tan skin tone. I'm happy to see that. I feel like that was one thing that they really missed the mark on in the Aaliyah collection was they made the bronzer too light for the person who was like, the face of the collection and they really kind of stepped it up here as far as the face powder shades go. I do think that highlighter in Always One Jump Ahead is probably one of my favorite items. It does look nice in like a subtle sheer glow on my skin which I like but just as far as a collector standpoint I think that's one of my favorite pieces. As far as the lipsticks go, I think the packaging is absolutely stunning, so beautiful. While I do really like the shades that they chose from the point of view of somebody who really likes to wear a lot of nude lipsticks, I do think that they've kind of missed an opportunity both with the lipsticks and the eyeshadow palette to bring something a little bit more vibrant, a little bit brighter. So, you know, the quality is there and honestly, these are shades that I'm gonna want to wear both in the lipsticks and the eyeshadow palette. So from a personal standpoint, I do like them. I will use them. I think the quality is great. Packaging is beautiful, but the shades just don't really live up to the packaging. When I'm seeing these colors on the outer packaging, this really beautiful bright turquoise blue, these really deep, rich, like vibrant jewel tone pink shades, I wanted to see a little bit of this translate into the actual shades in the products. And you know, of course we're not seeing Princess Jasmine in the movie, at least in the animated film. I haven't seen the live action one yet, but the original Princess Jasmine didn't wear like really colorful, colorful makeup, but the movie itself, I feel like they could have drawn inspiration because they did have those really warm, really vibrant animated colors. And I would have liked to see some of that carry through, not just into the packaging, but the shades of the products themselves. The only place we really got that is this bright pink lipstick, A Whole New World. I would have loved to have seen this like 
really rich purple shade that Aladdin wears. And that purple is really prevalent through the whole movie. When you look at the carpet, the magic carpet is kind of this like bluish purple kind of shade. And of course we see Princess Jasmine throughout the film wearing a pale turquoise. Even like Iago and Jafar and Genie, they all have some really rich, more vibrant colors. And I just felt like I was missing that a little bit. I wish there was a rich, rich, bright red lipstick. I wish there was some like bright purples, even like blue toned purples in the palette. So, you know, I feel torn because I like these products. I am a neutral lover. I like nudes and sort of toned down makeup looks personally and performance wise, these are great, but I just wanted a little more vibrancy from them. So I like it. I'm not like screaming for it. I'm not head over heels for it. From a collector's point of view, obviously I'm gonna keep all these things. I won't be returning any of the products that I purchased. I will keep using them, I probably will keep loving them, but I just, you know, if I had a genie, I would wish for some more color. Too, was that too corny? I don't know, maybe, maybe not. I would love to hear what you guys think about this collection. Are you with me? You wish for just a little bit more vibrant color, or are you just happy with neutrals? You feel like it makes sense because this is what Jasmine would wear? I always love to hear what you guys think about things too. As always, thank you so very much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye. I'm not gonna complain about that one bit. I would be more likely to, <laughs> I don't know what that was, but it wasn't pretty. That was awkward, even for me. Now let's talk about the lips. I do have all our, 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 Wise, but I do think these are some just, I feel like if you have one like glittery lip gloss then you have them all and then each brush swatch brush swatch brush brush then each breast breast son of a I almost said a bad word close enough <laughs>